Hey Aries, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of August. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. And of course, you guys know... The reading can go vice versa, a.k.a. reverse. So just take it however it fits your situation, okay? All right, Aries. Let's hop in. See what's going on. Y'all know that I love you. So thank you so much for the support and the love. I really do appreciate you guys. All right. So let's see. Aries. August Aries. All right, Aries. Here we go. Let's see. wedding the situation involves marriage unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon bottom of the deck getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay Ooh. all right aries so Ooh. Some of y'all, I'm picking up different things. Okay, so Aries, for some of you guys, you might actually be um, in a commitment or married to someone and you're not happy in your situation. And I feel like if you two haven't already separated, you're getting ready to, you know? And I feel like whoever you're separating from, this person wants to start over with you. Um, maybe it's you that you, you want to start over I'm jumbling up because it's like I'm picking up a lot of different energy. Either which way, I feel like there's somebody that wants to start over. They're like, you know what? What we've been doing is not working. Let's just go our separate ways, figure things out. If we come back together, so be it. Okay, so for others of you, I feel like there's someone that may be married. Like somebody that you were dealing with, um, whether it's past or recently you met. They could be in a commitment. They could be married. They're not happy. They're trying to get away from this person because they want to start, you know, something with you. For others of you, I am picking up that there's somebody that you used to deal with and this person, they see themselves marrying you, you know, and they're not happy with how things played out between the two of you because right now you guys are still separated from each other, but they're making plans to come back towards you because, again, they want to start over with you. They want you guys to be friends first to see if you guys can move into a relationship because ultimately the goal is marriage here. Okay. So like I said, I'm picking up different scenarios so let's just see how this plays out okay spirit so aries what's going on with aries please? aries okay guys let's see bottom of the deck i have the five of wands reverse so somebody's coming out of being frustrated about a situation. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody wants to start over and move in a new direction. They want to move in a new direction with you. But see, there's little to no communication. So some of you guys um, aren't really talking to this person. Or if you are talking to this person, they're not really open up and telling you what needs to be said. And it's because they know that they hurt you. Look at that. I have two women here. I have two women. It could be two men, but... The thing is, this was the situation. Look at that. The Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck. I told you somebody was either in a commitment or someone's married or, like I said, they want to be with you. But they were dealing with someone else and this is the problem. So, they feel like you just shut down on them. See? They, they know that they have to come back and apologize to you for their behavior. They're just not confident in doing so just yet. See? Because they do want things to improve with you. But they're moving slow. This person is moving slow. Look at that. Aries. Y'all could be dealing with another Aries, but the thing is they're moving slow to come towards you because they have to remove themselves out of some type of third party situation first. Judgment tried to jump out, which is letting me know like they got to make a decision and see they're frustrated right now because they want to be with you. But right now they feel like they can't because of this other situation. See, they left you out in the cold. They, they messed up. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, see, they were juggling. They left you out in the cold. They were juggling, but the thing is, they don't want you to walk away from them. But right now, they're doing a lot of soul searching. They're doing a lot of thinking. So this was a lesson for them. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. Ooh, okay. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Yeah, see, the thing is, this person feels like they're not going to have a victory with you. But they do want things to improve, okay? But look at that, Nine of Pentacles. They have to free themselves from a situation. Yeah, this person's gonna, I knew it. Look, they're getting out of a situation. They're putting an end to it. I see them being single. But there's somebody here that's upset. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Tell me more. Because there's another guy. Look at that. There's two guys. Okay, so Aries, if somebody had you in some type of third party situation they were playing around they were dealing with someone else they chose to move forward with someone else but the thing is by the time they get out of their situation to come back towards you they feel like oh well damn i done messed up now because now aries to move forward with somebody else and now they're it's like they're sick to their stomach you know whether this has happened yet or it's going to happen it's like they know that it will happen because with the will of fortune reverse it's like they can't even move forward with you just yet you know until they get themselves out out of the situation that they're in but by the time they get out there's still there's somebody else here there's somebody else see look this is them listening to their intuition but they're afraid you're gonna cut them off see because they were rushing in and out of your life and they don't want to do that to you anymore you know they want to talk to you but they're not saying anything look i got 210 this is an ending this is an ending they feel like it's a wrap between the two of you. It's like they're trying to put an end to a situation that they were in. But when it comes to you, they're like, man, he or she is not going to take me back. It's over. See, they're undecided about what to do. It's a lot of regret because of what they've done. See, this person was being sneaky. They were being sneaky. All right, so I'm seeing that they made a decision. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. But I feel like they want to be in a commitment with you. But the problem is you were doing everything and they know it. And see, they feel like you're going to reject their offer. This person is very immature, very childish energy, but they're still trying to manifest being with you. See, they're trying to manifest healing. They want to heal this situation with you, but they're back and forth with temperance. See, there's no balance here. Somebody could have been dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. See, and this person's having a hard time. Tell me more. I got two nines. They feel like things aren't improving and they can't sleep. There's a cycle that's coming to an end, guys. Yep. Whether you have a family with this person or, like I said, they're thinking about what they did to you in the past. But, see, they're wanting to talk to you and hopefully y'all just moving on, not thinking about what, you know, what they did. Because, see, they want to have a family with you. But I got the devil reverse. It's like... This person is trying to get out of, like, you know, the way that they're thinking, their behaviors. If they're around someone or other individuals, they're going to have to remove themselves. See, because they don't want you to cut them off. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. They got to make a decision. And see, they're over there dragging their feet. See, I still see two guys. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like you have somebody new coming in. You know, this person still could have been dealing with somebody else. There could have been, like, friends or other family members involved. It's a lot of people here. See? Codependency. I told you it's, car it's karma. This is karma that they're going through. This is a karmic situation that they're going through. Some of you guys, maybe you're realizing you're in a karmic situation with this person. Or there was some type of, like, karmic lesson here, even for you. See? There's the sun. Why is the sun here? I feel like this person does want happiness with you and they're trying to come out of being frustrated. Tell me more. They're going to have to have the strength to speak their truth to you. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. Tell me more. Yep. See, I told you they're coming to talk to you. They feel like you're a blessing. But see, it's... Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. There's something off with this. Clarify the moon. See, they broke your heart. They're... like they're scared to talk to you because of the deception from the past and they know that they broke your heart and it's like they're coming out of this energy of beating themselves up because see look ace of cups they want to give you this offer to start over the seeds that they planted with you i told you they want them to grow but they're afraid that they're not going to have a new beginning with you at this point and i'm seeing that this person's coming out of 
being frustrated but see either they got to get out of some type of family situation or they're feeling like they're not going to have a family with you so again they made a decision okay every told you everything is landing on my hand today like that all right somebody could be dealing with a cancer but i'm saying that they want to move forward with you but right now they feel stuck and they're trying to get out of something tell me more yeah they're gonna have to move fast but see they had you waiting around for some of them maybe they're trying to save up their money they're trying to get something together on their end because see right now they're feeling like they're not going to have a new opportunity with you and they're going to have to get out of feeling frustrated there's the ace of pentacles they want to give you an offer but again i'm telling you they feel like you don't want them anymore could be dealing with a gemini see this person wants to balance things out they want to be in a relationship with you but there's an ending they feel like you're done with them mm-hmm See, I told you they want to balance things out. And it's like, the thing is, the way that card came out, it, they were hesitating. So it's like, one minute they're ready to put in the work, but the next minute they're not. You know what? They're, either you have a family with this person or this person, I'm telling you, they're in some type of family situation. And this is why they can't turn things around. See, they're going through some type of tower moment. And see, they want to take a leap to come and talk to you. But right now, mm -mm, they're not opening up. They're not saying anything. Okay. Lord Aries, this one's intense. They give me a headache. All right, let's get some advice. Okay, spirit, what's going on with Aries? The situation that I just picked up on. What advice do you have for Aries, please? The situation that I just picked up on. Do you have for Aries please. bottom of the deck I have the ten of wands so overall I feel like some of you guys are still holding on to something whether some of you guys are still holding on to this person some of you guys are could be just holding on to the hurt and the pain that they put you through but you're still holding on to something pertaining to this person so let's see 20 cards what advice okay you guys are like you know what i don't want a new opportunity with this person and right now i'm just trying to heal things you know within myself you know because i'm frustrated you wanted things to improve with this person at one point but see yeah you're not happy with them at all so I told you, you're coming out of being frustrated about the situation, okay? And you're like, you know what? I don't see things turning around between the two of us. I don't see us having like a happy home, whether we have a family, um, you know, we live together, whatever the situation is. But see, Spirit is saying, you guys, even though it's like you're not moving forward, there's still something you're not learning here. Because it's like the cycle's not done. Clarify? All right, I'm seeing somebody needs to be confident in their decision because, see, somebody's upset here. Somebody's upset, you know? Yeah, you got to heal. Some of y'all are still holding on to what this person did to you. Yeah, you're going through a tower moment. You're real life. I feel like some for some of you guys, whether it's you, Aries, um, you know, or the person that Aries was dealing with, however it goes, you know, it can go vice versa. I feel like somebody was holding on to a situation with someone else for a while you know it could have been a couple of months couple of years whatever the situation is and you guys are realizing like wow like i was holding on to this and the situation isn't good for me that's your tower moment and that's why spirit is saying they need you to be confident and use your intuition and realize okay you know what it is that you wanted with this person it may not take place that's your tower moment you know i feel like there was a lot of harsh communication this is going more so down for me but there's still some hesitation because i'm telling you some of you guys still want to move forward with this person but then your gut your intuition is saying let it go look at that and see how that just flipped out of my hands focus on yourself they want you to heal from what this person did and focus on you yeah, you guys are isolating yourselves at this point. You're like, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. See, cut off communication. You guys aren't really talking to this person. Some of you could just be trying to wean yourself away from them, but you got to make a decision. 
Yeah, I told you. You don't see things improving with this person at all. And But the thing is, you're frustrated because you, you feel like you lost this person. But look at that. Every time they try to come back and work something out with you or they're giving you an offer, it's not a good offer. I see you guys shutting it down. Honestly, I'm even hearing switch, which lets me know for some of you guys, this is the person you were dealing with, right? And this is how many times you've had to, you know, approach them with an offer. You know, can we work this out? What's going on? You know, what did I do wrong? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and they're, you know, they're saying here like, nope, nope, I don't want it. Okay, F you. Bye. Let it go. They're saying you guys are frustrated. Cut them off. You got to cut them off. Give me five more, please, for Aries. Yeah, see? You guys are like, things aren't improving. I don't see myself having a new beginning with them. Y'all, you already know this, Aries. You already know. They're saying you're just taking your time moving forward because, see, now there's an offer coming in from this person from the past. They're saying, look at this. They're going to come back, okay? This person's going to come back trying to give you an offer. And they're saying, basically, you don't have the strength to deal with them anymore. You're not content with the offer. I told you with that four cups I saw, for some of you guys, you were the ones always going back, giving them an offer. And then for others of you, it's like the offer that they're coming to give you is not a good offer. And I'm seeing that here. They're going to try to come back, trying to give you an offer, but you're like, uh -uh. bye. You're walking away. I'm removing myself. I don't like it. But the thing is, you really don't want to do it. You're upset. Maybe for some of you guys, you had um, assets tied in with this person. Like, you know, you live together. Maybe you helped this person. Some of you guys could have given this person money, vice versa. You know, maybe you're like, okay, I'm, let's keep it 100. Some of y'all just heard investment. Like, you invested money into this person. You invested your time, and you did not want to walk away from this person. And that's why there's sadness here. You know, so some of you guys could have taken a loss trying to help this person or, you know, you were being with this person, just the good person that you are, but that was a part of your lesson. That's why Spirit is saying, get away from them. Walk away. <sighs> Lord, this was the most intense reading I've had all day, okay? <laughs> Lord. Aries, please leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonates. And, yeah, we'll see how this plays out in September, okay? I love you guys. Y'all keep y'all head up, please. It's going to be okay. But do what you have to do and just move forward. But you do it when you're ready, okay? All right, Aries. Talk to you soon. Bye.